instant. Hey everyone, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. My name's Grant, today's video we're gonna talk about my street photography kit headed into 2024. My Micro Four Thirds street photography kit headed into 2024. Gear I got, maybe a lens or two I'd like to purchase. Let's roll that intro, let's get straight into it. Hey everyone, welcome back. So yeah, street photography in 2024. The gear I'm gonna use, and I've currently got my cameras and the lenses I plan to use. Now I should also say that this should be slash travel photography, because this kit here is also gonna be my travel photography kit. So we're gonna talk about cameras and we're gonna talk about lenses um, and a few other things. So let's get straight into it. Okay, cameras, let's talk about the uh, meat and potatoes first, right? So two cameras I'm gonna focus on using the most um, in my street photography in 2024. First camera is, you probably guessed it if you do follow the channel, it's my Panasonic GX9. This camera is brilliant. I've been using it um, for most of my street photography in 2023, and this is gonna be my go-to camera in 2024 for street photography. I'm not gonna talk about why it's good for street photography. You know, I've got a ton of videos on the Panasonic GX9, so feel free to go and check those out. But it is a beast for street photography. So this is gonna be my number one camera, uh, street photography, travel photography, that sort of thing. Okay, and my second camera I'm gonna use for street photography in 2024 is my Panasonic G7. This one right here, I picked this up couple of months ago at a bargain price. If you don't already know or follow the channel, um, the Panasonic G7 was my first Micro Four Thirds camera, my first mirrorless camera after coming over from Nikon. Well, not coming over from Nikon, I still have my Nikon um, DSLR cameras, I love them. But anyway, this was my first camera. Um, I sold it off to, to fund my Panasonic G9, but recently picked it up again. And one of the main reasons I did pick up the G7 was a second camera to use um, with my street photography. Now again, I'm not gonna go into the specs and the reasons why the Panasonic G7 is a good camera for street photography. I've made a couple of videos like that and I plan to make a few more. But again, it's the size and form factor of this little camera. It's a beast. Um, it's 16 megapixels compared to 20 megapixels, but that doesn't really make a difference. And I'm mainly looking forward to using this camera on the streets purely because of its form factor. A little bit more grippy, um, and a little bit more comfortable than the GX9 for street photography. And just seeing what I can come up with, changing things up a bit, I think it's important to, you know, if you are pursuing a craft of photography, all good if you've only got one camera, that's fine, no worries whatsoever, you wanna stick it out, but to mix it up a little bit, if you do use two cameras, it can sort of, as I said, mix things up a bit and you can get sort of different results. Okay, lenses. My main lens that I'm gonna be using the most, I feel, um, in 2024 for my street photography is my newly acquired 15mm f1.7 Panasonic Leica lens. Um, haven't used this lens that much yet. I've only had it for a week or so. I can see why you guys and girls suggested I get this lens for you know months now. It's gonna be my number one street photography camera, 15mm, so 30mm full frame equivalent classic street photography focal length. Essentially, that's gonna be glued to my Panasonic GX9. Another lens I'm gonna use in my street photography kit is gonna be the 20mm f1.7. I got this one about six months ago, um, up to me getting the 15 millimeter lens a couple of weeks ago or a week ago. This was glued to the GX9, small, compact, discreet. This is fantastic on that camera. Another lens I'm gonna use is the 25mm f1.7 prime lens. This is stuck on my Panasonic G7 right now. Great results, nifty 50 um, equivalent focal length. I do plan to, now call me crazy, 
but I would like to get the Leica 1.4 version of the 25mm just to do some comparisons to see if there's any image um, quality difference, but that's only if I see it at a good price. And another lens I'm gonna use with my street photography in 2024, travel photography I should say, because this lens will be more for my travel stuff, is a zoom lens, the Panasonic Leica uh, 12 to 60 f2.8 to f4 zoom lens. This lens is brilliant. It's super handy on either camera. You're gonna get great results. Very versatile for travel photography, wide at 12, zoomed in at 60, you know, details, that sort of thing. This thing is great for capturing details, I must say. You know, not quite macro, but getting close. So when it comes down to it, this will be my versatile zoom lens for travel photography. Um, and I'm really looking forward to using it more. And quickly, before we go, um, one thing I would like to say is, is that, you know, Micro Four Thirds is very much overlooked for street photography. Um, and I don't know why, because it is pretty much perfect for that genre. Just take a look at the Panasonic G7. This thing is as cheap as chips, and look at the size of it. It is ideal for street photography. It just looks like a shrunken down little DSLR, giving you great results. But as I said, I really don't know why Micro Four Thirds is overlooked for street photography. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments why you think it is. Fuji does get the limelight. Sony gets a lot of limelight for street photography, um, but you know, Lumix, Panasonic, Olympus sort of gets left in the dark, but I can tell you right now, awesome, awesome cameras for street photography. So there you have it. That's what I'm gonna use in 2024 for my street photography slash travel photography using Micro Four Thirds. Let me know what you're gonna use down in the comments below. I'll be very interested to hear it. And if you like this sort of thing, please do consider subscribing to the channel. That helps me out a lot. Big thumbs up for the video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.